Art helps students understand part-whole relationships, develop algebraic thinking, master addition and subtraction facts through 10, and build relational understanding, which is foundational for building mental math skills. And when we say understand part-whole relationships and build relational understandings, we mean in a picture form like this. So for example, in the beginning, you could do it at home with paper plates or with sticky notes, where let's say you wanted to show them the hole is the number four. So you can put four sticky notes in the hole and then have them separate them into parts like one and three, or you could have them separate them into two and two to show the whole. And sometimes you'll see it done in a horizontal form like the top one, or sometimes you'll see it in a vertical form like on the bottom, but the principle is the same, the whole and then the part and the part. So in kindergarten and early first grade, we use these for the story of four, which is basically just explaining all the addition facts of four. So you can have four as the, as the whole, and then four and zero make four. And then we'll switch them out and they'll show three and one make three and one make four. And then we switch them out and we can do two and two make four. And we do this through each number through 10 and keep them up as anchor charts in the classroom so they see those basic facts to 10. Then early on, this is in New York State Common Core, this is early first grade. We start doing it with pictures and then they start writing the numbers in. So for example, five balls are here plus two more roll over. Now there are seven balls. And then the students would make a number bond to match the story. So they would have two and five make up that number seven. And then down at the bottom, they do the same thing with the frogs. So they have six frogs are here plus one more hops over. Now there are seven frogs and they would make, make the number bond the same way. Six and one make seven. Then we get a little bit more abstract when they do it with a word problem. So Mary was making a number bracelet with a total of 10 beads on it. She put three red beads so far. How many more beads does she need to add to the bracelet? So they can do this with a number bond as well. So we know the total is 10 beads. She put on three red beads so far. And a lot of times in first grade, we'll start with the pictures and we'll draw the 10 and then they'll have the three but their job is to figure out what number should go in here. So they'll figure out that three plus seven will equal the total 10. Now, as we move on, number bonds can also be used in the upper grades. So for example, in the first one, rather than setting up a problem going up and down, doing the algorithm like you may have seen in the past, we can do the number bond to solve it going horizontally like this. So if you know that we only need eight more to make 300 right here, you can break this apart, the 119 into eight and 111. So you have 300 plus 111 equals 411. You can even do it with time too. If I know that 45 minutes only needs another 15 minutes to make into an hour, then I can break apart the 35 minutes into 15 minutes and 20 minutes. And I figure out that it's 60 minutes plus the 20 minutes, or I can write it one hour, 20 minutes. And we can even do it with fractions too. So for example, we can break apart this two third into one third and one third. And then I figure out that this is one and I have one third left over.